Your Excellencies, may I begin by thanking the Government of India very warmly for the excellent arrangements which have been made for this meeting. Uh, His Excellency Salban Kurshid, uh, who has just assumed uh, office as the Minister of uh, External Affairs of India, made the comment earlier this morning that he would like to emphasize the aspect of tangible benefits arising from Iraq uh, for the people of the 20 countries uh, that belong to this uh, organization. I think that is a very important remark which we should adopt as a point of departure. In any organization, Mr. Chairman, it is natural that the first few years are spent conceptualizing identifying value systems which should underpin the work that is undertaken. But the Secretary General in his remarks today uh, said very rightly that Iraq has today come of age, come of age. In that situation, Chair, it is the view of the government of Sri Lanka that it is necessary at this point in the development of our organization to identify specifically projects Uh, which will entail substantial benefits to the people of our region. In that context, we welcome the initiative that was taken uh, exactly one year ago in Bengaluru, India, to prioritize. On that occasion, six different fields were identified as requiring particular attention. Areas like uh, disaster management, maritime security, academic cooperation, trade and investment, and so on. And I think the contemporary challenge for us within the framework of those priorities is to identify specific projects. For example, the Minister of External Affairs of India told us this morning that India is planning to host a conference next year on piracy. I think that would be a very appropriate occasion to examine some of the lacunae in the present system uh, with regard to undertaking prosecutions, with regard to a tribunal invested with effective uh, jurisdiction, uh, the mechanisms that are available today in international law to follow uh, the fruits of crime, all of this needs attention. I think it's also necessary to uh, think about the strengths of particular countries to make contributions in these different fields to the work that is being done by Iraq. Uh, For example, uh, Oman uh, is taking the leadership with regard to fisheries and transport, including shipping, and the Islamic Republic of Iran uh, has undertaken very valuable work with regard to uh, technology transfer. I think, Mr. Chairman, we also need to recognize Uh, that different countries within this organization, the 20 countries, are disparate in several respects. And uh, we should not try to achieve total uniformity, but we must identify projects which are of particular relevance to different regions. And it is in that setting that Sri Lanka uh, is very happy about the initiative taken by the Seychelles and Mauritius to conclude Uh, an economic zone agreement which has been registered with the United Nations. Uh, This year, on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly, there was a very productive meeting of small states in respect of which the Republic of Singapore took the lead. And that kind of initiative, I think, will impart uh, particular richness and pragmatism uh, to the work of Iraq. Uh, I think we also need to remember that this must not be seen as an organization which uh, concentrates solely and exclusively on relations between governments. People-to-people contact is equally important. And in that regard, the work of the business community uh, is of uh, very special importance. Uh, We are very happy about um, India and Australia giving leadership to this organization. And uh, they have the firm assurance of the government of Sri Lanka that we look forward to working very actively and purposefully uh, with you. Uh, Finally, uh, Chair, I would like to say that Sri Lanka is today emerging from the shadow of a painful and protracted conflict which spanned uh, the period of uh, three decades. And today we are looking at uh, accelerating our economy. The blue economy is of particular importance to us as an island nation. And uh, in those circumstances, you can rest assured that Sri Lanka is fully committed 
uh, to the work of your organization. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair.